this new meter as field piece saw uh, SC56. Um, it's a new meter, it does the inrush. And I'm gonna check and see if it does um, millivolts DC. I'm just checking it out, see how it works. Some of my other meters I got here. This one here I bought for inrush. It's a um, amp probe, the 51. But this one won't read the micro um, millivolts on DC for checking uh, thermal couples and power piles and stuff like that. Can't get it to work. I went through all the ranges and everything. So, this meter is not going to work for me. This one here is good too. POP76. But it doesn't do inrush. I'd like to have that feature. So, a couple of my other ones. I got some more flukes and stuff. I'm just kind of playing around in my truck here. You can see inside my truck here, I got this little this little vice that if I need it, I can come in here and do some work. So, I'm going to check it out. power pile generator here gives off this gives off millivolts also come across a lot of these with some gas appliances so I'm gonna check this one also see how it works I believe this is a 750 millivolt that might be a 250 I'm not sure select the range here so that's good read a millivolts DC that's what I need this little meter too it's tiny it's got the light this just feels pieces newest meter and I got the fluke leads on there I like them so I can put the different ends on there it's a nice meter here the fluke 87 V you can see the size difference between these two Basically the same. It's a lot skinnier, but it's the same size. So you put this amp probe besides there, okay? And you put your connections out the bottom. It's the same size as this one. This one's got the swivel head too. I'm liking that. I'm gonna play around with it on one of my uh, compressors outside and check out inrush and different stuff, but. I'm thinking this is going to be my new one. I like the idea it does um, millivolts DC for thermocouples and power piles. I need that feature. It's 
got Celsius and Fahrenheit. And actually with this one, when you're doing the amps, you got to set the amps. You could actually test the voltage and it's got two readings in here. You can check the amp draw and the voltage at the same time, which is a pretty cool feature. Another thing this has, if you want to see which is the positive and which is the neutral, if you put this little tip, like if you got a neg if you got an outlet and you put this little tip to the neutral, you'll beep a couple of times. If you put it to the positive, it'll be a, a solid, um, a solid beep. So you can tell the difference with that. All right, guys, I'm at this red unit. I'm gonna do a little testing with that meter. Five ton road, thirteen sear. Five ton. I'm checking that stock capacitor. Ninety three microfarads. Even it's got that bleed resistor on there. You just put the meter on there and give it a little, give it a couple of seconds, and it starts reading. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna try the inrush again. Hit the button. Hit select. Go to amps. Hit inrush. Move the button over. Let's see what we got now. One thirty eight. Forget I got the hot stock kit on this thing, so that's good. You gotta make sure you get your decimal point all the way over so you can go into the hundred range. I'll try it again. Just push the button and it resets it. Ready to go again. Alright guys, I'm checking the fan. The amp draw would be on the top there. 1.17 and then I also got the voltage hooked up there also. But you could check the voltage and the amp draw. Alright, so you got the voltage hooked up there on 240. Let's check what the the drawer is on a compressor now. 15.4. Now you only could do that if you're on the amp setting. That's pretty cool. It's a good feature for sure. Definitely a good feature. Nice little meter. I like this meter. Again. I'm on the common. Just checking a couple of these contactors and tell this one's got high ohms 19.6 so I changed that usually between 9 and 12 ohms is good and that one was high so that's why I changed it on that one on this contactor here it, it uh, bucked the transformer it was on a uh, red unit red ream same thing air handler um, transformer was smoked bucked is what I call it if you don't have a fuse in there, it'll, it'll burn out. Basically what happens is you got a little coil in there. You see the little coil. 
and the insulation basically melts away and you got um, a neutral and you got a um, you know a feed going to that so if that insulation melts away it's going to be a direct shot anything you know in the one two range things junk that would buck the transformer or blow your fuse so what's that one let's check this other one over here see what's going on with this Point seven. Let's check that um, capacitor right there while I'm here. Microfarads. I got it on the common, which would be the four. You can see it's got four connections. The compressor would have three, and the fan would have two. Zero microfarads. Let's try the fan side. You know that capacitor is bad, it's all puffy. Zero. Alright guys, on this compressor, what happened with this was one of the um, the terminals had burnt off. That's the only reason why I had to change this comp uh, compressor. Let's see. One of the terminals burnt off. Just checking the ohms here on this. Go point nine. The ohm setting. All right, guys. Just another feature. If you put up non-contact voltage, which is like that was a pretty cool feature. If you put it on a positive. Put on a negative. See, so you put it on a negative, it'll beep. You put it on a positive, it's constant. You guys should know what's what by looking at a plug. You know when it's when it's in front of you. Uh, when I'm looking at a plug, a male plug, I know on the left hand side that's the positive one. So when you put it in there, boom. So I I just know from over the years. That's the positive. And then that's the neutral. That's a pretty cool feature. DC micro amps. That'd be for like flame rods, uh, flame sensors, and stuff like that on furnaces. Non contact voltage. That's a check if you got voltage somewhere. Pulse DC would be for thermocouples, um, power piles, DC voltage, cars, stuff not, you know, whatnot. Amps, uh, voltage would be there. Ohms. This one's got a backlight also on it, which is a nice feature. Microfarads, hertz, which really don't want to use hertz in the now the only thing with the temperature is you have to pull your probes out and you got to push this little lever over to be able to put the uh, temperature sensor in but I'll tell you I'm liking this meter I like the swivel head on it so if you have it on you know when, you, when you're doing an amp drawer you're supposed to have the, the line in the middle there for the most part well, that's a sweet little meter I'll tell you I'm glad I bought it I'm glad I bought it Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it.